Back in 2010, when a massive earthquake shook Haiti, many people were left with nothing. Now, six years later, many kids in that area still need help. Here with more is Tia Bunzi, executive director of Play It Forward. And Tia, let's first talk about this foundation work that you've been doing with Haiti. It's called the Fond Blanc Foundation? It is. All right, tell us a little bit about that. Well, the Fond Blanc Foundation was created in response after the earthquakes. We needed to move some children that were without parents left from the earthquake and for economic reasons. And we moved them up to an orphanage north, about an hour and a half north of Port-au-Prince. Okay, and the way things are done in Haiti is a little bit different than here in the in the United States, especially when it comes to education. Right, education is not mandated nor provided by the government, and about 90% of the schools in Haiti are privatized, and they're either run by churches or NGOs such as ourselves. So because there's not a, an education opportunity for most of the children there, less than 20% of kids ever mm -hmm. make it to high school. And so we want to provide a school for this remote village in Fond Blanc. So tell me a little bit about how you guys are planning on do this uh, to add, to get these funds for these kids. So we have an event called Play It Forward for Haiti, and at the event we have Bucky Badger and we have uh, UW athletes and lots of fun activities for kids to come out and play. It's a family friendly friendly event with tie dye stations and face painting and lots of great opportunities. And we have a silent auction there that we have some unique events um, or I'm sorry, some unique items and some things created by local woodworkers from the reclaimed ash trees awesome. from the ash borer trees that were taken down and so beautiful furniture and lots of other things from the silent auction so it's a great event and 100 percent of the proceeds go right directly back to the school in Fond Blanc. And that event is going to be October 2nd. It is this Sunday from 2 to 5 at Kiva in Middleton. Now, one thing I find interesting, and, and when we were talking here, last year you had the event and you went yeah. with this like little thought of, if we can just do a little bit, but you well surpassed that. Yeah, we were able to provide all of the money for the school, for pre-K to grade 11, and the kids got all of their school paid for, their books, they had uniforms, and we were able to provide the entire thing just with this one event from this community. So it was quite remarkable for us. And when you see faces like that, you can't help not yeah. want to help. Oh, I know, and they're wonderful children. They're so deserving, and it's really the only opportunity for them to have hope in Haiti, because otherwise their village is so remote, and the closest school is like a 45-minute walk. And so this gives them an opportunity for all those children to get a degree, or to, I'm sorry, to get a diploma, to learn English, to learn French, and it's really the hope they need for their future. So Tia, one more time, when is this event? It is Sunday, October 2nd, 2 to 5 at Kiva Sports Center. All right, Tia, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me.